it looks like the yes jules and yay back and forth isn't going to end anytime soon i'm still perturbed as to why yes jules seems to not want to just give this up and let it go she got fired i get it it was embarrassing it was done publicly maybe some of the reasons behind it were um, you know skewed to kind of make yay look better and make her look worse who knows but i feel like she's dragging it a bit i feel like she just needs to kind of let it go and deal with it in the courts and not try to deal with it in the court of public opinion because you know it doesn't really impact us it doesn't really bother us in the slightest and if anything this is probably going to end up hurting her the more she speaks about us in the public you'd imagine if it does go to court but regardless she's doing it anyway so yes jewel decided to jump on social media and tweet the following when somebody said at the bottom here yeah yes jules really took this line for to heart so yes jules tweeted that to tweeted quoted that actual tweet that somebody posted and said the following this that i never actually signed the nda level of claim as milo clearly stated in my termination i was then sent an nda two days later after my fuck the nda comment with a signature that is very clearly not mine by the time I'm done with my legal filing, someone will be in jail. So yes, Jules is threatening to throw somebody in jail from Team Yeezy because she's alleging somebody on that side of the team forged her signature on the NDA. So it's getting kind of spicy. Um, Summers will be in jail. As forging a signature is a federal crime punishable by up to 10 years in prison in the state of California. I love that she probably Googled that as well, right? She's probably sitting there Googling all these type of things, really fucking irate. So she's clearly pissed off again. Maybe there's something going on behind the scenes that we don't know. Maybe there's other things that's transpired, but she seems to be really upset about this firing. And again, maybe it's not the firing. Maybe it's the Milo thing. I don't really know, but I think she should just deal with this in the courts and not deal with this in public. But again, what do I know? Amongst other charges that are on the way, Happy Good Friday. And obviously you see here a copy. Um, I guess on the left is a picture of her ID with her actual signature. And on the right, you got a picture of what somebody signed on her behalf. So clearly they're not the same thing. Um, maybe not the smartest idea to show people your signature online. Maybe, I don't really know. But regardless, she's showing people her signature and saying, that's not me. She continued raging off the back of this and going and, you know, and not having it and go, basically clapping back at anybody that kind of, you know, spun the narrative against her. There's some other tweets here as well. Another one says, so you basically saying Milo did Diddy, did Diddy to you. And she said the following. I got the metadata on the document. I have voice notes of our calls. I've got screenshots of his racist slurs, sexual harassment. Milo was trying to fuck his jewels that's crazy isn't he meant to be gay milo's meant to be gay and he's meant to be gay and into black guys allegedly so if milo was trying to fuck yes jules that is a very interesting turn of events um uh, you name me i'll keep all my receipts again should you be saying this in public it makes you seem like you're always building a case just in case someone fires you it's almost like a threat kind of but again i could be wrong she says like i said i dare somebody to try and take food from my daughter's plate they have 15 days to drop the silly little claims before my counter suit is filed. This, I state this publicly because I was fired publicly. This is the game they want to play. I'm ready to play it. So I guess she's saying that, that lawsuit, that screenshot that we saw where they were accused, where they basically accused her of breaking her NDA and that she has to pay a, a crazy amount of millions. I think it was like seven or eight. She's saying, hey, if you don't drop that, I'm going to counter suit and things are going to get ugly. But again, I'm not too sure if they even filed that lawsuit. Maybe she they did, and that's why she's reacting, because it came through. But I don't know. It feels like she's making more out of this than what it is. And, and it might end up biting her in the ass. Another tweet she put out. Not to mention there are a lot of people awaiting packages in the mail. Okay, this is now the spicy shit, because this refers to Yeezy. And I'm one of these people waiting, because I ordered quite a bunch of shit from Yeezy.com um, during the whole $20 sale thing, which is still going on at the moment. And um, it hasn't come. No, you know, I've got no indication of when it's being shipped. I've got no Yeezy pods. I've got no t-shirts. I've got no sweatpants. I've got a fucking nothing. Diddly squat. So a bit annoyed, but hey, I guess it is what it is when you buy artist merch. Um, the tweet she puts out as follows. Not to mention there are a lot of people waiting packages in the mail based upon a four-week turnaround promise on a website for a company that knew that they would be able to, they knew that wouldn't be able to deliver the product in time. Milo's words. Pretty sure all those customers have the right to file a suit on their own should they wish wow she's basically telling the fans hey file a lawsuit please file a lawsuit but hey no need to start a class action lawsuit i prefer to go the peaceful route 
pay me the money I'm owed for my work completed, plus damages for slander and forging my signature and everything can be water under the bridge. So it's almost like she's hinting at the fans to file a class asking lawsuit to get their stuff, which they won't do. Yay fans are loyal to the core. Um, they would never ever file a lawsuit against Ye to get some twenty dollar merch. It will likely will get you know sent soon, but it seems like again from reading between the lines of what Yes Jules has been saying on Twitter Spaces in the past when she was working at Yeezy, there is no one at Team Yeezy that's in charge of basically making sure the orders get to the customers. It's just from what I've been reading or hearing, it's a team that designs it. It gets sent to the production company or whatever warehouse to go make it and then that's it but there is no person in between um, maybe it's an operations person maybe it's a liaison whoever that person is they don't exist um and that's basically it we just have to kind of work it out so i wonder if they've even got a customer service team probably not because again i've received absolutely nothing and again big up uh who's that um on the chat as well still waiting as well so yeah i'm not doing any person there's a bunch of people out there who are waiting um, I think I bought like, I didn't buy that many stuff. I think I might have bought like $160 worth of stuff. Do you know what I mean? So it's not a lot. Don't get me wrong. It's not like I spent like a grand, but I still would like to have my sweatpants, you know? I'd like to represent for vultures, you know? Why not? But I don't have it at the moment. She tweeted again and says, um, okay, tell Milo to leak the timestamps and the DocuSign certificate since he loves to leak everything. Tell him we know about the blackmail he's been hanging out. What? The, that blackmail he's been hanging on to call the vault also we're gonna catch his ass everything happens for a reason i'm glad that this happened to me so i could be the one to blow the lid off this bullshit so i guess yes jules and milo have this ongoing beef which i would love to know what the origins of this beef are it seems that like they don't get along at all they completely hate each other um because it seems like milo was the one that said all the catty shit about you know yes jules on yay's instagram but obviously he didn't clarify. I feel like it kind of sounded like something Milo would say about, oh, of course you've been fired. But I wonder what the beef was between them. I wonder what kind of started the beef between Yes Jules and Milo. I wonder. Um, I ain't said shit yet. Believe that. Another tweet says, Trashy would have been given the excuses to TMZ the day I was wrongfully terminated in front of 20 million people. I've been quite the class act through this whole process, if you ask me. My patience is running thin though. Another one, she says, solely because of my affinity for yay and loyalty. Another one, what's she saying here? Um, honey, the check what so somebody said to her, Why did you save all of this for after? Um, you got fired. Like, I'm sorry if that happened to you, but you're a grown woman and mum. You shouldn't have enabled that kind of behavior just for a check when you know you can always get another job. It's giving clout chasey respectfully. She said, It wasn't for money. It wasn't for money for me. It never was. He knows that. Oh no, sorry, the, the, the top. Honey, the check was peanuts. I make more on Snapchat in a week. Um, then the, what I was made at a company in a month of working overtime and holidays. I was it wasn't the money for me. It was never that. Ye knows that. His team knows that, and that's why they wanted me up out of there. These people were leeches who can't get hired anywhere. That's a weird thing to say, isn't it? Why would they fire you if they know that you are there for more than money? If you're that passionate that you would work overtime and on holidays and you really love, yeah, you love Yeezy, you want to spread the message, you want to get the shit everywhere, you want to help in any way you can, why would they fire you? Because you're so good at what you do. That doesn't really make any sense, does it? Hmm. Maybe I'm missing something. I wanted to help my favorite artist go back to making the world a better place. I see him continue to surround himself with bloodsuckers and always think I can come in and change things. Um, but sometimes my little bit of light isn't enough to illuminate a spade for um, a space filled with dark, such darkness. Me getting fired was a blessing. Them suing me will be their biggest mistake. Again, I'm not too sure. I mean, it seems like she thinks she's the light and everyone else is the darkness. Maybe they're, they're all in the darkness. Maybe Ye wants these bloodsuckers around him. Maybe he doesn't want people with clear minds, rational thinking around him. Maybe that's part of the issue. Who knows? Um, another one, she says, it must have something to do with the skill. Wonder what something could be. It's death that to go. Another one says, um, the damn best thing they did was firing you because this is how you act. Even the new artists you will work with will know you are going to run for the press after something happens. So let's see what she replied there. She says, running to the press would have been me saying yes to any of these interview requests. There's plenty more where these came from. I come here to speak my piece because I care only for my truth to be known amongst my personal supporters and audience, not for the clout or the additional eyeballs. And to be frank, I don't ever have to work with another artist ever again, should I choose not to. So she's basically saying, don't play with me. 
I make a bunch of money. I'm paid. I'm fucking rich. I don't need artists. Artists need me. Fair enough. All I ever have done is give people all my all and only be undervalued and underpaid. To be fair, if this keeps happening to you, you kind of have to look in the mirror. You, you know, you can't always be the perfect person and you always can't be the perfect victim. If this keeps on happening to you and you keep getting undervalued and overlooked, maybe or underpaid, maybe there's something you're not doing. You, maybe there's something that you're doing that's putting you in that situation continually. You, you'd think so. But again, I could be wrong. So um, she then decided to include um, some screenshots from her email that shows various different publications reaching out to her for, you know, insights and for more information regarding her getting fired from Yeezy. So she's turning down all these requests and deciding instead to see, say her piece on social media. Now, this could be looked at as an honourable thing to do, but it also could be looked at, from my point of view, just to be cynical, that maybe she's running away from actually having to answer some tough questions from journalists who might ask follow-up questions, who might want specific clarifications, as opposed to just talking like in a one-way term, you know, on her fucking social media feed. Maybe that's the way. Maybe. Who knows? But, you know, maybe she'd be giving some ratings for not going to the big publications and kind of airing out all the dirty laundry in there. Maybe. It continues here. Um, someone says, yes, when they booted you from the team in December 2022, he went off and told National File that Ye propositioned him for sex, told his telegram that Ye had a non-hetero relay liaison and wrote the RNC disavowing Ye. What? So this person's saying Milo said this. Did Milo say he had sex with Ye? When he was, oh yeah, true. Milo was sacked from Ye in 2022, isn't it? True. I think he was sacked from them a couple of times. But now he's chief of staff. He went off and told National File that Ye propositioned him for sex. Fucking no. Can you imagine Ye fucking Milo? Not really. But hey, I can imagine probably fucking Luca or something. Luca Sabat. But I could imagine seeing him fucking Milo. <laughs> he doesn't have enough ass. Anyway, continue. Milo has stolen from and blackmailed Ye. And this is a known fact. Wow. It baffled me that he's still around until I received a phone call explaining why after my whole situation went public. It's not rocket science. So why is he why is he still around then? Could she explain to us? Because I'm I'm confused. Is Ye scared of Milo Yiannopoulos? I wonder why he's still around. Someone needs to explain that to me clearly. Another person says here. I mean, if what she says is true, one, she never signed the NDA. Two, they have forged her signature to pretend she signed it. There's absolutely no way they can enforce a fake NDA. And signature forging is actually a way more serious crime than just tweeting info about a company. Another one says, what do you recommend? Yes, Jules, cancel my order or wait for them to ship it. She says, LOL, good luck, brother. <laughs> this ain't good, man. We ain't going to get our sweatpants, are we, guys? Guys and girls, we're not going to get our sweatpants. Yes, Jules says to somebody, LOL, good luck, brother. And she was in there. She was in Team Yeezy. She was in the factory. She was talking to that fucking Dove Cherney, Dove Carney guy, right? The former American Apparel guy who does Los Angeles Apparel with the people that produce all the Yeezy stuff. So if she's saying, LOL, good luck, brother, it's not looking good for us. It's not looking good for us. Another one, someone says, hell, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. She says, like a single mother who's been bullied, harassed, abandoned in a foreign country against her will, wrongfully terminated, docked, stifled of payment and so on. Absolutely not. This fury is different. She's going for it. Another person says, right, but Milo was the one who brought it to the social first, true? So now she has a right to defend her name and brand in the same way. I followed Jules for the better part of a decade. She's pretty meticulous. I imagine we've only seen 10% of what she's have been, uh, may have for the countersuit, LOL. So this guy is clearly, clearly trying to fuck. Fair play. Another one says, um, by the way, I reached out to every mutual friend I could think of, urging them to have Kanye call me so I wouldn't have to move forward with my countersuit. I assume everyone is too pussy to address him about this. So this is my last attempt before I take action. I gave everyone over a week to do the right thing and fire this pedo, pay me for my completed work and drop the nonsense intent to arbitrate. Even asked everyone in a text if this was real because the way Milo wrote it was so damn laughable. Brackets. My name is misspelled. Mozart is reference and the pot calling the kettle black with reference of outbursts and hateful behavior was just a cherry on top for me. I had to assume this was fake, but nope, it was real. So my response to this will be very real also. By the way, Milo le leaked this through Kanye defense team and Kanye's post. First, I have receipts for that too. Since they don't give pedophile social media, 
<laughs> Big up, yes, Jules. Calling Milo a pedo is fucking crazy. Oh yeah, true. Didn't he? No, is she calling him a Milo? Is she calling Milo a pedo because of the things he said that got him cancelled? Did Milo say something like all gay guys like to like you know all all gay guys like to lose their virginity with like older dudes? Is not what he said that got him cancelled? I wonder why she's calling him a pedo. Is he a pedo? I think he said he's hooked up with loads of dudes when he was super young underage but i don't think yeah if if you if you're a guy and you willingly fuck loads of older dudes when you're underage does that make you a pedo or does that make them a pedo i'm assuming that they're pedos you're not a pedo right if you give if you willingly give up your pussy to some older dude yes it's sick yes it's probably not the greatest thing to do but if you do it willingly consent with some sort of consent then you, you might you might be a bit of a sicko but are you a pedo i don't know who knows let's not get into the fucking um pedo logistics uh let's see here so i'm gonna repost this as well she posted some screenshots that feature what what are these screenshots feature what do we have here in these screenshots because these details are super important to kind of check out for the yay history books so in this screenshot we've got an a, an iMessage that features a pdf attachment in confidante et al goddard notice of um intent to arbitrate um she says in the group Someone please confirm if this is real so I know how to move forward. As you are aware, thanks to Milo leaking my private information, I'm receiving a number of questionable emails from Yeezy employees and need to validate this text message since emails have been compromised. Someone says, if 305 is Jules, then yes, this is very real. You have an email from me serving you with notice over the weekend. You should take this very seriously and have your attorney contact me. Copy. I will most certainly handle this. So somebody called Greg the lawyer, Ye's lawyer, is telling her that, yeah, this is legit. So it's probably coming from Ye too. I guess maybe Yes Jaws is just in denial. Maybe she thinks that Ye couldn't have co-signed this, but it sounds like Ye is co-signing this. Um, yeah, exactly. Look at Josie in the screen chat. Josie, big up Josie. Older gay men will hook up with and show youngins away. Yeah, so it's a thing. So why did, why did Milo get cancelled for saying something that a lot of gay guys actually know to be true or is it the way that he said it i don't i still don't understand maybe he didn't get cancelled for that but i remember that being quite a big deal at the time because he admitted that he hooked up with loads of older dudes when he was underage i don't know weird but anyway regardless um we've got a copy of the notice to intend to arbitrate with obviously the crazy seven million dollar no eight million dollar fucking fine or whatever she has to pay absolutely wild so i guess it's legit it has been filed and it's actually legit. And obviously you can see the, the name of Greg K. Nelson, who I assume is Ye's lawyer also. So it's looking very real. So I guess she's going to have to try to work this out some way or the other. Um, we continue on. Any more tweets from her before we finish this? It says, if, you have a, if, if you've been waiting for your order longer than four weeks and like to take action, email me. Wow. She's now putting together a class action lawsuit against Ye for the you know, unshipped for the ship. The orders haven't been shipped yet. Have a great weekend, everyone. Another one says, I really don't want to do this. My problem lies with Milo, but I can't ignore the rest of the team, including the founder of the company has been complicit. I have no choice but to fight back. Fair play to her. Email the receipts to work at yesjules.com. Another one says, at his loss, I don't care to, about to be around. I need money, my money, and my name cleared. Another, I, I, I thought you said you make more money on Snapchat in a week. Why are you so pressed about the money you get from music? But maybe it's just the principle of it. Another one, she says, it's coming. These tweets are my last attempt to spare Ye of more legal woes than he already has. Um, another one, she says, that company tried to intimidate the wrong girl with a bogus ass lawsuit. That's what happened. I'm not the first employee dealing with this bullshit. I'm just the first one to speak up and fight back. Thanks for the reminder, someone says. I always wonder why there's World Class Act lawsuit for the STEM player. Oh, yeah, true, the STEM player. Those that bought were promised an album and received an unfinished rushed album with no attempt to finish it. Pure cash grab. Seems to be the common thread here. All the Yeezy two, two, two months ago. Exactly. I, I still haven't got mine. No Yeezy pods, no sweats, no T-shirts. Yay. Another one. She's got, no, she's got more fucking DMs. Yo, this girl is fucking letting it thick in it. Yes, she was not having it. Another tweet. If I didn't care, I wouldn't have offered my team to personally aid the LA warehouse with shipping out the merch. I'm in marketing. That's not my job, but I was willing to do it. I was urging for exchanges to be made available for customers since there were so many sizing issues and we are in a recession. Please wake up and understand I'm not the bad guy here. 
so there's more tweets more fucking ims more i am more i messages that she's sharing here one directly with the uh, dove charney who's obviously the founder of los angeles apparel who's manufacturing and produ or producing and manufacturing a lot of the yeezy stuff um the, t the email or the text message says as follows i think we've allowed for some exchanges i agree with exchanges it's not an issue then yes jules replies to that and says let me know when we can i can help your team with main power for the mine if needed she's he says no manpower needed he has to authorize it and we will change it up she says he seems to think we don't have to manpower he says we have the manpower i have a whole group maybe write him that we can accept any changes when you feel he's in a correct mood oh, imagine having to work i love yay but imagine having to work with him day to day you have to fucking walk on eggshells, propose things to him when he only is in the right mood. Like, it must be hell to work with him, isn't it? As inspiring and motivating and as illuminating and amazing as it must be to be in his presence, to also work with him day to day as a human must be slightly exhausting. Another I message, she says, I feel we should offer exchanges. Perhaps we can donate the ones that get exchanged to homeless. At current price point, it's a gamble to buy with no returns or exchanges when unsure of sizes so clearly she was trying to do the right thing again these are all cherry picked though you know she's cropped a few of them and picked the ones that make her look good so maybe there's another narrative running so you have to kind of you know always read these things with a pinch of salt maybe it's not the whole entire truth but it is looking like the yeezy team is a bit of a mess behind the scenes man shouldn't be surprising though right we shouldn't be too surprised but i'm a bit pissed because you know i spent 160 dollars on some yeezy stuff and i'm probably never gonna get it <laughs> that's the thing jules is right to be honest another person says i'm done for today toodles so um i'm leaving out details in yay's favor i show a message because my point is solely to do away with my purpose is sharing texas to show my intentions and protect my name um as anyone else is being attacked in a way that i've been would eventually do i'm here not to slander anyone i'm just defending myself so yeah big up yes jules i guess she's defending herself she has been probably unfairly slandered on socials a lot of it i think she's kind of brought on herself because she just want doesn't want to let this issue go and deal with it privately um with lawyers and representatives she seems like she wants to correct her name in the court of public opinion but to be fair considering her work considering where she considering the area that she works in in marketing considering her brand is basically her it does make a lot of sense why she's fighting tooth and nail to clear her name because she doesn't want people to think of her in a certain way so maybe it's maybe it, that explains why she's fighting so hard to make sure people know the truth but in all i think this probably isn't going to end well for anyone in this situation that's the unfair solution with this situation but hey what can we do what can we do peace and light to everybody involved and hopefully it works out i guess the only thing to kind of see now going forward is that if you're a kid and you want to get involved with yeezy i think forget trying to get involved with kanye or yay and everybody else in a creative sense i think if you really want to make a mark and you really want to change things or you really want to be indispensable or you really want to be a linchpin of yeezy team you probably should come in with some logistics um you know um import expo admin um, all of that sort of boring stuff non-creative stuff experience you'll probably end up having a job for life if you were the person that was just that just got shit done you got packages sent out you dealt with returns um you know logistical you know stuff manufacturing like you just you just were on that sort of stuff and you were the one-stop shop for all that shit you would probably have a job for life at team easy apart from trying to be the kind of creative person i think that's probably the way to do it but you would also have to deal with yay you'd have to deal with yay you'd have to be you have to basically be between yay and dov shani who i'm assuming is probably just as much of a nightmare to deal with so you have to deal with all those egos um you know you probably have to deal with another version of a yes jules there who's also trying to make the name for themselves so it's not gonna be an easy job but if you do want to get involved that probably is a good way to get involved if you want to kind of intern for yay forget trying to produce for him or make you know album covers he's got enough excellent creative people stylists that can work for him and do a good job doing admin stuff for yeezy probably is the right way to get in there but again would you be able to bear it day to day working with yay would you have to bear it that's the real fucking question but hey what can you do what can you do